Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey's first tweet got sold for 2.9 million dollar and later a meme yes a meme got sold for half a million dollar on the internet this animated images of these monkeys which are widely famous in the internet today famously known as board a yacht club which is owned by the likes of Justin Bieber Marshmallow chain smoker and even Snoop Dogg are getting sold for more than a million on the internet and this is giving rise to this new phenomena that is called nft so what is an nft or non fungible tokens i am vishal and i am ayush welcome to our channel metaverse simplified in this channel we try and simplify everything around the concept of metaverse if you haven't watched our videos check it out in today's video we are going to talk about what is an nft and why the world is going crazy about it NFTs or non fungible token is a complicated term. Now let's take the most complicated term which is fungible and simplify it. Fungible means replaceable. So a non fungible token is actually a non replaceable token. Let's deep dive and break it into two sections. Non fungible and tokens. NFTs non fungible token. Let's just focus on the first part of this complicated term non fungible. Now what is non fungible don't worry about the tokens now we'll cover that later what is non fungible now imagine this is a notebook right i can buy this notebook from amazon flipkart or a local bookshop or a local stationery shop right and suppose tomorrow i want to buy one more copy of this i can still do that let's say a year later i want to buy still one more copy of this i can still do that that means i can replace this notebook or a book at any point of the time with the exact same replica of this because it is available in the market that makes this asset a replaceable asset or in the term of web3 that makes this asset a fungible asset because i can replace this at any point of the time so that is the concept of what is a replaceable asset or a fungible asset but imagine this is a notebook in which elon musk the great elon musk the founder of tesla and spacex Ten years earlier, or ten years before, he used this exact notebook, and he made a lot of notes inside this. Right, how he want to launch Tesla, how he want to create SpaceX, how he he want to send rockets to the moon, or how he wants to do a tweet and uh, crash the crypto market. I'm just joking, but yeah, he wrote a lot of ideas, his thoughts, and what not inside this particular specific notebook. That make this notebook a one of a kind because. you can't replicate whatever elon musk has written on this notebook 10 years ago right you you can't just replicate it or you just can't find a exact same copy of it anywhere in the market that makes this exact particular notebook one of its kind that makes it non replaceable and that's make this non fungible because no matter how much you try you can't create this exact replica of whatever he has written in this exact notebook that is what this makes this notebook a non fungible asset Now, Elon Musk has written all of this ten years ago. Now he is a famous man. Uh, he has people following on him on Twitter. He is a successful entrepreneur. He is trying to send people to Mars. Right? People believe that he is a visionary. Now, because he is famous, the value of his thought or anything that is written on notebooks goes higher and higher. And that is what you see. The value of this notebook maybe ten years before was nothing when he was not very famous. But now, because he is so famous, the value of this exact particular notebook is might be very high. What I am trying to say is, the value of this asset is directly tied to its owner. That is what makes non fungible asset very special. Because one, they are not replaceable. No one can replace them. No one can replicate them. and a value is attached to the asset of who is a creator or whatever utility it is bringing that that is what makes non fungible asset so special and one of its kind now imagine anything that is rare in the world the picture of mona lisa the taj mahal a custom se signed copy on a record by snoop dog or let's say brian adams or any popular pop star suppose so let's say a cap that was signed by kanye west or let's say a video game that was signed by the founder of naughty dog anything that is rare in the world anything that is super customization super rare 
these things are not replaceable and because they are so rare they they are driven on scarcity because they are rare the price of them or value of them is generally very high and because of that these are non fungible asset you cannot replace them you cannot distribute them and because of that these are essentially called non fungible asset and they are generally valued high because just let's take an example of a hundred dollar note you can divide in hundred dollar note into two fifty dollar note five twenty dollar note but you can't take the picture of mona lisa divide into ten smaller picture of mona lisa and say hey this is the still the same thing rather the more copy you try to create of what is the original the more it is valued the more it is popular and that is why non fungible assets are rare and they are valued so high because you can't replace them you cannot replicate them nor you can distribute them what is a token i think you might be able to relate with this whenever you go to a food court you place an order the vendor would usually give you a token and later using that token you can get the food that you ordered before deep diving into token let me explain it to you how transaction work in the world of web3 let's say you might want to buy something for example i want to buy the book the notebook that vishal had in the previous example and it costs 100 rupees for me to complete the transaction i'll take out my phone type in upi address which vishal has uh, use paytm and google pay him 100 rupees and once he acknowledges that he has got 100 rupees he will give us that notebook in this entire transaction of sending 100 rupees to vishal a lot of things happened in the background in a few milliseconds it started with my bank receiving a request that i want to send 100 rupees to vishal next my bank verified that do i even have 100 rupees and then it verified vishal's address and then sent that money to vishal's bank account vishal's bank account acknowledged that it got 100 rupees and sent this notification to vishal the entire transaction happened at a bank level and we as end consumers we trust the banks to make sure that they move our money they acknowledge that they have received money and there is some form of trust all these banks and government institutions are the governing authorities in most of the cases and in such cases where we have a governing authority that system is known as a centralized system it's called as a centralized system because the governing body usually has a lot of power and a lot of power with one entity is never a great scenario in 2009 this guy who you might have heard of satoshi nakamoto said why do we need to trust a bank with all our transactions when i send 100 rupees to vishal why can't a bunch of other users or trusted entities record that a transaction was made from me to vishal for 100 rupees and when a record of a transaction is held by a lot of users rather than a single entity that's when a system becomes decentralized and that's how bitcoin started now bitcoin is a system where a lot of users and entities verify the transactions and it's a chain such a decentralized chain is known as a blockchain and bitcoin and ethereum of the world are based on blockchain in a web3 world where i want to send vishal 100 rupees on a system of blockchain is going to be a little different there won't be one bank verifying this transaction there'll be a bunch of data miners or users who would verify that a transaction was made from me to vishal and they'll record this information they'll record that vishal received 100 rupees they'll also record that okay ayush wanted to send 100 rupees but he did not have that in his account so that's how a blockchain work now let's go back to the situation where i wanted to buy that book from vishal and nft will have an information that vishal is the owner of that book and after that i was the second owner of owner of that book and that information will be stored there forever now this information in the blockchain can be stored not can be will be stored forever and it cannot be edited you can only add information on top of it and if there's some information which has to be edited all the users or all the nodes in the blockchain need to agree to that and this is how combination of nft and blockchain will authenticate digital ownerships nft is an authenticated digital asset in which an information is stored and again it is stored in the blockchain and because it is again on the blockchain it is stored there forever so you can explore a lot of use case around authenticity or ownership by using nft as a meme 
this can be a way to validate the authenticity or ownership or even originality for anything it may be digital asset and we hope in the future use case will come up where people are using nft to authenticate the ownership and the rightful owner or the history of uh, sales or purchase around real estate automobile to check authenticity of a brand or some very high-end luxury products so the use case are multiple around that and the technology on which the nft is built that is blockchain uh, i think it is going to solve for a lot of uh, cases around ownership and authenticity like i can have an nft that may certify that i own the car that i own today in a very secure way and no one can force it or i can have an nft for something that is very social like i attended a concert of john legend or let's say i attended the ipl's final and i can get an nft for that so as a collectible i can keep maybe for social media or my collectible right that is the use case around that as well anything that is digital can be an nft it can be an image it can be a uh, music it can be a video or gif or even a virtual land or a, a social media experience anything that is in the digital world can be turned into an nft now we'll say hey i can right click and save this image of an nft and i can keep using it yes you can do that but it will never prove that you are the legit owner of it so the ownership will be on someone name so no matter how many replication you can make of this image nft let's say you can never be the rightful owner of it but again that doesn't end that way because i know the world is has been working in that way suppose tomorrow an nft come and again i'm just making it up suppose this nft comes with a utility that every friday it is going to give me some free beers right right now if you go just right click and save that uh, the right click save image of that nft is not going to give you that utility because to get that utility that is free beer every friday you need to show the nft and you need to verify and validate that you are the rightful owner of this nft so that is how nft will be very relevant because a lot of new nfts are coming with a lot of utility roadmap and so much around the community so just right clicking and saving an nft will never give you access to what people who are the rightful owner of the nft are getting an access to so that is where it uh, differentiate between right clicking and saving an image versus owning an nft now the most popular question around nft is why the nfts are priced so high because it runs on the fundamental human psychology of scarcity if something is present in a very less and limited quantity the price of that is supposed to go high because there is a very high demand and very less supply but that doesn't apply to all of the nft like for example if you see board apx club which is very popular celebrities are owning it they have a very good road map they recently got some funding and all that those are in high demand that is why they are priced at one ethereum two ethereum and so much but you can see some other nfts which are maybe very less price maybe you can spend ten dollar twenty dollar and own an nft given the seller is okay to sell that price so not all nfts are priced high but maybe five or ten percent the cream of the entire ecosystem where we have the top nfts they are priced high because there's a lot of demand around that but uh, it doesn't say that all the nfts are priced high you can find nfts at a cheaper cost given you want to own it and given you see some value in it don't just buy nfts just see what are the utility and value you are getting out of that and then make a decision of buying an nft as of now nfts are widely used as ownership of art but the technology behind this nft thing is going to change so many things in the world imagine an nft for authenticating ownership of relatively complex things such as ownership of land ownership of a house ownership of a car nfts are going to transform the way ownerships are authenticated i can see a lot of use cases where nfts will be used to authenticate the originality of a product this can be a perfume by prada or a t-shirt from zara uh, the number of use cases that we have is simply mind blowing the use cases go beyond ownership authenticity utility and community building and we are really excited to see where the world of nft is headed while we cover the basics of nft you might be wondering how do people make millions of flipping nfts you might also wonder how can i experience an nft where can i go and buy an nft or sell an an nft or even create one what differentiates a bad nft from a good nft 
and what brands are doing in the NFT space. We are going to cover all of this in our next video. So stay tuned. This brings us to the end of today's video. So if you have any thoughts, please do drop in your, in the comment section. And if you want us to make videos on any specific topics around this area, please do drop that in the comment. We are making a lot of content around Metaverse, NFT and Web3 along with a lot of news and soon a lot of demos and fireside chat. So stay tuned to our channel. Please do like, share this video among the other geeks who are excited about this topic and please do subscribe us if you liked our video. Thank you so much. Signing off.